Hello, this is Greg, and today we're not going to be in Tallahassee or make candy. We're going to go on the road as we travel with Greg. Travels with Greg is a series where I travel around the country and meet cool people and talk about preserving history. In this case, the video is a preservation of history, as I visited Pike's Old Fashioned Soda Fountain in Charlotte, North Carolina. Unfortunately, I just learned that they'd closed down from their soda jerk, Tyler. So let's go back to when we met in person. Well, this is uh, Pike's Old Fashioned Soda Shop. We've been at this location since 2000. Earlier, it was a Rexall drug store off of Shamrock Road here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And it was transplanted here in 2000. We brought all the bar stools, a lot of the knickknacks, the chandeliers are from the original soda shop. And uh, we offer floats, sundaes, ice cream, but not this stuff. <laughs> I'd say our specialty of the house is that hot fudge brownie sundae, triple decked out. This dish that they're making is two brownies and a banana split boat, a glass one, with three scoops of ice cream over it, chocolate syrup, whipped cream and cherries. It's spectacular. But let's point out the glass, because this is when engineering comes in for a soda fountain. Yes, engineering in a soda fountain, and a lot of this we already covered in the soda fountain video about egg creams that we made. But the most important thing is he's serving in glass, or alternately stainless steel, because those are non-reactive metals. And for the same reason beer and wine doesn't taste good in a paper or plastic cup, ice cream tastes better in a glass serving dish. And the dishes were engineered specifically for ice cream. The classic Sunday dish has a tulip shape, and the stem on the bottom is meant to keep it off the table so that the heat of the table won't be absorbed upwards and melt the ice cream. The taper is designed to make a perfect Sunday happen. You see, you put syrup at the bottom of the dish, ice cream in the middle, more syrup at the top, and then all the rest of your toppings. But when you eat down, you eventually run out of your syrup. But at that point, the pressure of you eating forces syrup up from the bottom, so you get syrup in every bite. That's why I'm not sure you can have a true sundae in a paper cup. And Tyler here is like a bartender, except his proper title is a soda jerk. I, I am a soda jerk. Tell me, how'd you get into this line of work? Well, my first job was with Cold Stone Creamery. I was 14 years old. Uh, started uh, opening up other Cold Stone Creameries. Found a better opportunity here. And I've been rocking with the company here for over five years. I, uh, I started at a Hagen dazs when I was 16. Hagen dazs Hagen dazs in a mall in Irwin. That's good. They, they have great ice cream. Just I, don't, I don't miss singing at Cold Stone, I'll tell you that. And we're called soda jerks because of those silver soda heads. The handles go forward and back, providing a high-speed and low-speed stream of seltzer water so you can mix syrup in for a soda without using a spoon. And because it's me, I had to give Tyler some candy. All right. Take a look at the other side. We make that by hand. Nothing more than a spatula and a pair of scissors. This looks great. Lofty pursuits. So what's the flavor here? Uh, Old Glory? Blue, well, canvas. That would be the logical flavor. Here. Okay. No, it's uh, it's uh, blueberry, uh, strawberry, um, uh, sponge cake. Oh my goodness. Am I allowed to try it right now? It's yours. Oh my. Let's, let's, let's take a tea. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. You know, you guys really know what you're doing here. Um, can I get a high five? Sure. All right. That's so good stuff. Me. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, there, we have lots of others on this YouTube channel. Please subscribe to us here on YouTube and ring that bell. We also post regularly to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And on Facebook, we're planning on starting to live stream some candy making. Let's see how that goes. And we just started a Patreon account, which has on it podcasts and updates from Greg about what he's doing and what he's researching. And if you're ever driving by Tallahassee on I-10, we're right off the I-10 exit of Thomasville Road. We don't make candy every day, but we do make it a lot of times, and you may be lucky enough to see us. Thank you again for watching.